Welcome back to my channel bosses. Today I'm in Key Biscayne. I think this is the first open house that I came that I come in here in Key Biscayne and today we are going to see this amazing 3900 square feet house with five bedrooms, seven bathroom right here in the, one of the most prestigious neighborhood in Miami. This house, it's a brand new construction and you're going to see that I'm an aficionated by doors because doors here in Miami, they are terrible and this guy, this developer did a great job starting from the entrance. Number one, he, he didn't use a regular door. Look at the size of this door. I think it's probably, I don't know, eight, nine feet tall and it's, it's not a hollow door, it's very good very good construction very good materials i like that the house has a lot of glass because here in miami what you need is clarity you need you want the light coming from the outside and bringing a lot of natural light for your house the selection of materials is top quality and that's something that i always tell my clients and i also tell here in the videos that concrete and drywall they are all the same is the quality of the material, the stuff that you do that makes your house unique, that brings value to it. For instance, this staircase, it's a floating staircase, and you're going to see once we go up, the steps, everything is marble. In the middle is uh, porcelain, but you can see the detail here. They thought about everything. They put this little filler right there. But, uh, so that's the kind of things you want to look at, the material of the house, because that's something that it's difficult to change. And if you don't have to, it's already game on for you. So this house has five bedrooms, seven, five full bathroom and two half bathrooms, so seven bathrooms. This right here on the entrance is a formal dining room. Very nice, you have glass on both sides, on this side and on this side also. It's very spacious, you have six, nine, nine chairs in this um, very nice table actually. And the, the um, outlets for the AC are the linear one, which is also amazing. You can see that um, the tiles in the floor also are very top quality. I like the big windows, I like the big windows. Coming to inside the house, we have the living area, which is also very nice because with all the glass windows here and door and lighting door, you have this outside inside ambience that you are looking for. This is the form, this is the living room or the family room, the TV room, whatever you want to call between where we are in the kitchen, you have another seating area that is pretty comfortable, very nice. And of course the kitchen. And one thing that I think is very nice what they did is, I like when developers and builders, they do different stuff. And look at this uh, hood right here. Instead of having those square boxy ones, you have those Ferrara stainless steel, which are much more pleasing to the eye here in your kitchen. So even though you have them hanging down um, from the wall, from the, the ceiling, it's better than the regular one. Appliances, looks like they are sub-zero. So this is the fridge, stainless steel line, very nice. The freezer on the other side, fridge on this side. I like the color selection for the uh, kitchen uh, cabinets. Even the, uh, the stone here is pretty, pretty nice. 
We have the same thermometer cooked up on this side. And of course the gray, the gray stone here on the countertop. And from here you have access, of course, to the backyard where you have a little kind of a um, what do you call? I forgot the name. The song threw me off. Gazebo. You have a shade space here and you have a very nice pool. Very, very interesting pool. Oh, the water is great right now. Salt water pool. Salt water pool. Perfect. If you are allergic to chlorine, this is perfect. It's a salt water pool. You have infinity edge on this side. And look how your house looks from here. It's a very nice construction. It's brand new. They built this one and the other one across the street that I'm going to show later. But it's pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty nice construction. So let's go to the second floor where we have the bathrooms and the bedrooms. Before we go to the second floor, we have more area here to show you. This is the laundry room. You have a nice laundry room here and also where you have your equipment. This is probably the garage. You have the access to the garage. And here you have what well, could be a staff room. Probably is a staff room. Pretty spacious, yes. Full bathroom also. And uh, yeah, this is the details I tell you to look for. You see how they put this filler right here? This is small things that make a lot of difference. Decoration, even for the staff room, is very good. And they have, this is probably the closet. It's closed. Even the closet door is nice. And you have a half bathroom in the first floor. Let's go see because before checking the second floor. This is your half bathroom on the first floor. I like it, the, the, the dark selection of materials. It's uh, pretty nice. This is your, it's not a cabana bathroom because you're not actually in the cabana. It would be, I think this should be, I think this is a light that should be connected somewhere. Yeah, probably this button here, which is not turned on, should turn this on. Now, let's go to the second floor. Once again, materials. Look, this is porcelain. And look, the filler makes a difference, just not having the edge on the concrete or drywall. And the floating stairs is marble on the steps. You have glass and you have stainless steel. So that's what I'm saying. You have good materials. It's not just the stairs that take you to the second floor. They actually put the work uh, to select nice materials to make you very, a very high quality house. You have the hardwood floors, you have the uh, electrical outlets on the floor, which I think is nice because on the walls, I don't know, they are ugly. Here's one of the bedrooms, gas bedrooms. This one is facing the street. It has a very nice size. Also the linear, there are the linear outlets for the AC. You have a walk-in closet. And this is what I'm telling. Look, this is a nice door. It's not hollow, right? You have details on the door. Just having a white door is not good. And second thing that I like the most, hinges. Look, you want bulky resistant hinges, not the ones that are going to crack in five days. Uh, here we have nice cabinets, different from what we usually see. And on the bathroom, same thing as the other one downstairs. Let's see if this one's turning on. Yeah, so this one turned on, you see? How you have the uh, lights right there. So it's good. And you have a very nice space here. You have the little bench there. 
and uh, they still need to put some finishes there. But yeah, it's a, it's a good bathroom. Here we have another guest bathroom, bedroom. Uh, same thing, different is that instead of having a walk-in closet, you have that kind of closets there. What is this? Oh, this is the water temperature. Huh? It's nice. Nice closet, it has space. I always say you don't need to... If it was a walk-in closet, it would, it would take this whole th size of the, the bedroom. So this way you can have the same amount of stuff, but in a proper, uh, in a different setup. Nice, they come with the sheets here. And also you have the, uh, the shape and the curtain. So that's good. That's nice. This is the bathroom. Have the shower head there, big shower head. Nice details, nice materials once again. Also they have to finish there, but that's not a problem. Same kind of mirrors. Then you have this light. This light is very good. This light is actually very good. On the other side, we have, which also would be a bedroom, but they made into an office, which I think is a nice idea. Because if you have five bedrooms, you can use one of them as an office. You don't have a lot of kids, or you don't have a lot of people to receive. It's a great size office. And uh, yeah. I like the materials. I'm seeing that a lot, but I really do. And right now we're going to the master bedroom. Master bedroom, of course, you have much more space. You have a linen closet in here or whatever you want to use it for. Big windows, you see how much big, you have a nice balcony there also. The balcony here is facing the pool. I like the big windows. A lot of light on the inside. Hibi skin is nice because you actually have the space and shade and privacy because you are in the middle of the island, but it's still you have all these planters that block the vision from who is outside. So that's nice. So yeah, this is the master bedroom. Oh, they even have a window here. So I have more clarity. Oh, I like it. Very cool. Here we have the walk-in closet. Same style as the other one. I like this leather. Probably it's full leather, but it's nice. Looks like a crocodile skin. It's cool. Yeah, I have some space here. It's pretty cool. And this is the master bathroom. Uh, spacious shower. Very nice materials. Double sinks. The lights here are different. A bigger mirror as the other bedrooms, which is nice. I liked how they enclosed here with glass doors. Pretty cool, pretty nice, yeah. Very nice house, 3,900 square feet, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, five full to half, pool, office, very nice. More information in the description below.